Thanks guys for coming back to watch another episode and if you're new to the channel please be sure to subscribe to the channel. This behind me is my 2008 Jeep. Uh, to start putting the control arms and get this Jeep out of here, get into the garage that way we could work on it um, more, put in more hours and, and start working on the frame and the other damages that we have to do. So here's a quick update of the axle. We've got it nice and painted, it's dry. So what we're going to do today is install our bump extensions here. So we're going to drill a 5 16 hole in the center of on both sides. And these are the bolts provided. Which here's our tapping bolt that we're going to use. Once we get this installed, I've already started installing this uh, outer sill for the axle here. So we're still going to need to install the axle shaft and then we can install the knuckle and we'll go with the brake calipers we still have. So that we can get this axle back on the Jeep and get the Jeep moving and park it in the garage here so that we could work on it. After I do that I'm going to clean out, I'm going to take that off, drain the oil clean all the grime and everything inside there and install the new diff cover so I've got the center marked here what I did was center that up and I just used a marker to go through and mark it So now we're going to take the tapper bolt here and get us some threads here. You don't want to tighten it too much because it will strip out. It's nice and tight. Let's do this other side. bags and stuff and taped around the motor and as you can see we've already started painting around the motor mounts so I did most of the like uh, close stuff over there uh, with the brush we're gonna be spraying it with our primer gun here so let's get this sprayed in so that we can install our axle and get this Jeep rolling and get it out of here and get it into the garage so I'll be spraying it with this uh, cheap primer gun here and uh, I noticed that using a regular gun like a, with a 1.3 nozzle or 1.4 uh, this uh, chassis paint is pretty thick so I did uh, have to slightly reduce it 
shooting the paint gun like with the 1.4 nozzle I wasn't able to get a good flow of paint so I switched over to the 1.8 nozzle and tried reducing it just a tad and see if we can make something work. So it is about 90 degrees out here so we did pick the right uh, day to actually throw this paint on. So it is 90 degrees out here so the frame is nice and toasted. It's so the paint should uh, attach really good and have a good bondage and uh, we should be able to start like putting um, the control arms and stuff like towards the back. We should be able to get those on tonight. Uh, we got a late start on it but let's see if we can spray this in and get that axle on and get this Jeep on out of here. Chassis paint down. The frame is nice and hot. It should apply really well and uh, we sh it should bond together to the frame. So. Um, so the primer dr is dry for about three, four days. I Don't forget to get a cap. So we got our first coat down and you always want to apply the first coat light and then uh, you can always you know go back and get some of the spots that are still visible but man that changed the whole look of it so I didn't paint right here I want to go ahead and sand this little bit of trash that we have here I want to send some of this garbage right here. Starting to look really good. We're going to let that dry for about 10-15 minutes and we're going to come back and apply our second coat. Make it a little bit thicker and see if we can hide some of the marks here from the primer. So that's the only thing I see that I don't really like with it is uh, I applied the primer with uh, a brush and you could see, you're now able to see like the marks like when the primer was drying everything it didn't really look as bad as this but still I mean it's it looks really nice but um, just for the next time and for the rear section of this frame I will apply the primer with the gun. Uh, we'll just use the primer gun and apply that primer with the gun and it will be a nice smooth finish. So it doesn't look that bad but that's the only thing that I see that is visible so I'm going to let that dry and possibly even sand it just a tad just to get that nice look. I was able to block the frame with the 600 grit and try to smooth some of the brush marks and everything so I think we'll get a nicer finish here so yeah I think it's uh, gonna smooth that up because this uh, black paint is really thick so I'm sure it's gonna fix all the brush mark imperfections and I'm not really I think we're gonna get a whole lot better finish on this so I'm fixing to go mix up a little bit more paint we'll throw our second coat and it'll be a little heavier and I don't think we're going to do a third coat because, I mean, even just sanding this, it, uh, I mean, it really feels like this stuff really bonded good with the frame. I mean, it doesn't come off easily and only where, 
where I was actually putting pressure and and knocking some of the primer and marks off that's where the paint started coming off but other than that it's pretty thick it's nicely applied and it's got a good hold and so that should definitely help us keep any chips or anything like that down the road so let me go get some more paint and we'll throw our second coat thanks guys for coming back if you're new to the channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, to stay tuned on the 2008 Jeep build be sure to give me a like comment any uh, suggestions you have on the build um, on what I should do next and um, and see where this build goes so stay tuned